Hello, and welcome to this Setup and Interface Tools with Scratch Junior with me, Hoya Zaned. Let's get started by going to the App Store and making sure that you've downloaded Scratch Junior to your iPad device. Once you're there, we're going to take a look at what it can do. But the first thing I suggest is that you lock your screen so it doesn't move around when you're using your Scratch Junior tool. Click on the home icon and let's take a look at the interface of this wonderful tool for creative coding for connection. Starting with the top left hand side, you'll notice a yellowish house. That's known as the home icon. That will save your project and exit to the home page. Beneath the home icon, you're going to notice that that's Scratch the Cat. He's native to our particular program. Don't worry, you don't have to have him in your code. You can just press and hold and you'll see a red X show up to delete him from your particular code. But for now, let's just use him as our example. If you want to add characters, you press the little blue icon with a plus sign in it. All right. And just be careful because if you delete any sprite, if you've already coded that sprite, you're also deleting that sprite's code, also known as the script. Since I just mentioned the stage, let's go there. You'll see that Scratch the Cat is in the center of our stage right now. The stage is where your code comes to life. It's where you test, debug, and set up your different characters together with titles, etc. Just above the stage, to the right of the home icon, is the picture square. If you press there, it'll expand the stage to the full presentation mode. Fear not! Once you're in the mode, you'll also see the square is there, and you just press it to come back right here to this interface to continue coding. To the right of the picture square is the grid. It's your best friend for learning different movements of your sprites. I'll have a separate video on the grid, especially since we're going to learn X and Y axes and movements and mathematical computations. It's very exciting. To the right of the grid is a little square that looks like it has trees and a blue sky. If you press there, that's the way to change your background. You can even create your own background if you'd like. To the right of that is a circle. It has A, B, and C on it. If you press that, it's a way for you to create titles and labels on your stage. You can also change the size once you've created the label on the stage itself. Another really good button to know is the reset button. You see how it's an arrow that loops so you can go back? Well, that's when you're testing your code and you want all of your characters to go back to your original spot. Just press that and it resets. The green flag shows you where your code is at. So if you press the green flag, it'll set your code in motion for that particular stage. Underneath and to the right of our green flag are the pages icons. Just like the sprites, you can add four pages. So each page has its own sprites and backgrounds, but you can always reuse the sprites, and I'll show you how to do that in a different video. Underneath this wonderful program, you're gonna see the block categories. Again, I'll have another video on the separate block categories and how to use the different tools to create some awesome code. But for now, let's go from left to right. You're gonna see the triggering blocks, there in yellow, the motion blocks, they're here in blue, the looks blocks, they're pretty in purple, the sound block, which is green, the control blocks, which are in orange, and the end blocks, which are in red. And right over here, do you see that all of the blue blocks are kind of open? Those are the motion blocks. So once you've pressed on a particular icon of your block categories, it shows the blocks palette. That means your menu for programming within that particular block category. If you just tap on one of those blocks, you'll see your sprite move. It's pretty exciting. Underneath all of these wonderful block tools is the programming area 
or you connect the programming blocks to create your coded scripts. The scripts tell the characters what to do. To create a programming script, all you do is snap the blocks together to create them. And don't worry, you can always undo and redo if you've made a mistake in the programming area. All the way up to the top, top, top right of our particular interface right here is a yellow square. And this is the next exciting part. You can name and share your completed project, either through the Shero airdrop tool an iPad or through email. If you're not sure, ask your teacher or an adult and there's no worries, we'll get you set up. Thanks so much for watching and look for my creative coding for connection videos with me, Ms. Green at Hoyas and Ed. Till next time, take care.